see this is a practical uh, normally that uh, we have to uh, develop a simple uh, room reservation system application by using ezp right this is practical number 6p uh, for performing this practical uh, we have to take a jsp file uh, for uh, gui part we'll take session bean that is a stateless session bean and for uh, execution we will take a solid page so what are the actions to be performed for uh, performing this practical developing a simple room reservation system application by using ajp uh, first of all uh, we create a web application uh, this is called as room reservation then we will create a stateless session bean this is called as reservation bean this is called as reservation bean and now we will call uh, create a web client by using the servlet named as reserveserve.java and uh, we have to create a web client by using that jsp this is called as index.jsp uh, file so you'll see that uh, we are creating three different files one is uh, index.jsp then the second is uh, we are creating at uh, bean file this is a reservation bean and the third one is uh, we are creating the solid file this is called as a uh, reserve server. okay and then uh, we have to build the application right and we will see the output here so what is the practical here developing the simple room reservation system application by using the enterprise java beans i'll open this uh, interface uh, in beans file i'll uh, go to the new project java web web application new and we'll write the practical name practical 6ab we'll click on the next file click on the next button and then click on finish okay so this is the practical number 6ab right as i said that we have to uh, create a application right so that is a jsp application page first we need to create a jsp application uh, that is a room reservation system okay so so first of all we'll create this uh, uh, gui page right what we are supposed to write here uh we'll write uh, enter the details for room reservation okay we'll take the h1 tag here okay enter details of room reservation system okay once you create this now we have to uh, write down this uh, file right so we'll create the form here form method equal to post we'll write here method method equal to post and then action right now we are uh, creating this uh, file that i'll sh show you what is the name of the file we are just creating we'll create the solid page at reserve solve right so we'll write this page here reserve solve and we'll close this so that is the opening and closing uh, of the form tag now we'll have this uh, customer name then uh, address right so when you are writing this uh, program so first of all i'll write here customer name okay customer name that uh, input type input type so input type uh, right so input type here input type equal to text okay then name equal to c name for example we'll write a name equal to c name Uh, same thing for the address also. I'll just write here uh, for the address also. 
Okay, so this is for the address. Okay, so here we'll write your uh, address. Address. Uh, we'll write the C add customer address. Okay. Uh, then phone number. So customer phone number, right? So we'll write her phone number here. Phone number. Okay. So we can change here uh, this C phone number. Phone number. Okay, we'll uh, get the new line also here. Okay, now we have to select the room type. Just if you suppose we are selecting this, uh, so we need to select the room type, right? like uh, room is the general deluxe or suit something like that so we'll write here uh, room type room type okay uh, see it will be a drop down right so what we'll do we'll uh, take the select tag name uh, i'll write a name equal to room type room type so select option open and closed i uh, will write here option id okay so option id equal to g for general okay so this is for general and uh, this is general right so it will be repeated for all the three types Control C and write a control V, control V. Uh, deluxe as well as a shoot. I can write a deluxe, I can write a shoot. So this is the another type. This is called as deluxe. Deluxe and uh, okay. See, uh, this is next part. Now, check-in date, uh, normally when, whenever you are uh, visiting any restaurant or hotel, right? So you need to uh, provide the check-in date and check out what also. So we'll write here check-in date. Check-in date. <coughs> check date. Uh, it will be a uh, check-in date right so it will be also text simply i'm not uh, taking a date format i'll just taking a text format also so we'll write here input uh, type here uh, it will be a text only input type equal to text only name uh, name equal to check-in date chk date okay then uh, we'll close it Then also we have to uh, write down the checkout date also, right? So we'll copy and paste it. Checkout date also. Checkout date. Uh, this is uh, check-in date and this is checkout date. So I'll write here check-in date and I'll write here uh, checkout date. Checkout date, okay. And also we have to uh, use the do the payment right so payment mode for example uh, people are using cash people are using uh, credit card okay so i can uh, i can write here uh, payment mode 
payment mode okay uh, payment mode uh, again uh, we are using this drop down so right here uh, select okay select name equal to for example uh, this payment mode right so payment mode will uh, write within this select open and closed uh, we have to provide this option id right so option id equal to sorry. so option id equal to uh, for example i'll write pass okay okay so this is uh, pass it's a pass or it may be a credit card right so just copy and paste okay uh, this is a credit card another option second is a credit card okay go to the new line also yeah uh, we will take one button okay so here input type input type equal to submit and value equal to submit and value equal to submit we'll close this Okay. Uh, this is the GUI part. I just go through one uh, once again, like uh, it, it will be displayed at the top. Enter the details of the room uh, reservation system. Right here, we are uh, uh, taking this uh, form. Right, so we are creating the GUI page. Here we'll write the accent page. Right, so accent page like the solid page which we have created. Customer name. See when when we write a run the program so that the output will be like this. Uh, we have to provide the input customer name will be a text. Address will also be a text. Phone number will also be a text. Room you are selecting. So we are using this uh, drop down. So that room may be that general deluxe or sort. And uh, we have to also provide the check in date as well as the check out date here. Uh, check-in data and check-out data, I'm taking here text format, right? So simply we will write the format. It will be displayed as it is. And in the payment mode, the people can also, like, uh, do, the people are doing uh, payment mode, either it, uh, either cash or uh, it may be a credit card, right? And then I, I will take a, a button. So I'll just uh, check this uh, format. Now you can see here, uh, that uh, when you when you run the program enter the details of the room reservation system right customer name here then address then the phone number then the general uh, like you are selecting this room type uh, general uh, deluxe or uh, you can say it will be a suit we'll write the check-in date we'll write here checkout date we'll provide either it will be a cash or it will be a credit card okay so that the action will not be performed right uh, because we have uh, not written that other other pages okay now as per this i'll just show you ki what other pages we are going to create we have to create the reservation being right so we have to create the reservation being that is what that is the uh session being page correct so i'll go back the uh, project right we'll go to that uh, source package again uh, how we are creating the session being uh, we'll go to the project we'll write the uh, we'll go to the source package we'll right click on the source package new and we have to select the session b remember you have to select the session b so what is the name of this uh, session being right this is what this is called as a reservation b we will write it reservation b it will be a reservation being right we'll write the package name here 
HAP. Okay. Uh, see, by default, you know, it is created as a state list. It is created as a state list, right? So just click on the finish button. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is the Java page here, right? It will show you the state list, right? And uh, so simply I just write here uh, stateful, okay? And uh, and also I want to make it a local bin. Remember, uh, if you want to make it local bin, you can select here, you can check, see the option here, local bin, right? So here you select it, local bean. Uh, right, it will be added. Now, how many, how many, uh, for, uh, how many inputs are there? You can see this, the customer name is there. Uh, for example, uh, what, uh, which, which uh, format you want to display, right? For example, uh, you want to display that, uh, hello, so and so customer and welcome to the, our hotel, right? So public sting welcome, okay? So that is a method that should be displayed here, right? So I'll write here uh, that uh, method, right? So first one, I'll I'll write here uh, that uh, public, uh, right? So this will be displayed, hello, welcome, right? So that customer dot uppercase and welcome to our hotel, okay? So when the output will be displayed, when the output will be displayed, uh, this line will be displayed here at the first time, okay? So we'll take this uh, first line, right? When this uh, output will be displayed, right? So public string welcome, and uh, it will return the load uh, hello that the customer dot to a per case means whatever name you have taken, right? So as an input that will be displayed in the upper case. Remember, this is the first parameter. Second parameter, uh, uh, when it will be displayed, right? For example, uh, you have selected the room type as a suit, as a deluxe, or you can say as a general room, right? So in the second line, again, that public string room type, uh, for example, you have selected. So, you know, you'll, uh, you'll get the output here. You have selected, you have selected room type, okay? And that the room will be in the upper case also. For example, you are selecting that general, you are selecting this, uh, uh, deluxe, right? So it will be a room type. Okay. So the next, next, uh, output will be here, the room type. So this is the format, which type you want to display on the screen, right? The next one is, you know, that the payment method, right? Uh, can you see here that the one method I'll be selecting here that the public string, uh, payment, right? So again, uh, when you write it, uh, this method, right? Uh, this uh, public string uh, payment. Okay, so uh, you, you can type this here. Public string. We'll make a method payment. We'll make the method payment. Okay, and uh, string. Which type? It will select according to the room now, right? So this is room type. It is uh, according to the room type. According to the room type, right? Now, again, you have to check like uh, what what type of room you are selecting. If, uh, for example, if the room type is if the room type is, you can see here that uh, if the room type dot equals dot equals, right? We'll write here uh, method equals right equal ignore case, right? Anything? Why? Why I'll be writing here ignore case because it, if it is in the upper case or if it is in the lower case, it will check both. Okay, so that uh, I'll be taking here suit okay. this is the first one and it will return and it will return like uh, you have to pay rs so and so right 
so you have to pay you have to pay uh, for example uh, for a shoot you are uh, uh, paying rs 800 8000 for example okay so this is for the shoot right other cases uh if you're selecting like uh, if the room type is uh, something else right so else okay if the room type is here If the room type is uh, deluxe, okay. So we'll write here uh, deluxe. Four thousand. Okay. Uh, either there are three different types, so we can have uh, another type. This is called as else you have to pay rs2000 because the third one is uh it will uh, display here okay. so it will display here uh, how much amount uh, you have to pay you have to pay rs2000 that's it now all those values we are storing where in the form of array list we have to uh, we have to uh, store and uh, display in the array list right so uh, for example like uh, we are creating this array right so this is what uh, this is your uh, method okay right here public array list public array list array list uh, we are using the string uh, we are using the string and the method is here reserve method is a reserve and the parameters we have to write here parameters we have to write here so for example string customer right so i write here string customer customer then string address And see here string address and string phone number string phone number then string room type string room type string room type and string payment mode and see this is the string uh, payment mode payment mode so we need to write down this uh, list okay so array list here array list then again we'll declare this uh, string okay the string here and uh, it will be stored like this new array list okay control space bar new array list you can see this new array list
now we have to add all those values right while you are uh, creating this array list so we need to add all those values in the array list here so we are adding this a dot add now all those values are added here uh, first kya tha first is a customer will be added here second address will be added here so a dot address will be added here a dot add then uh, a dot phone number will be added here phone number will be added here then a dot take in time okay so this is uh, a dot add take in take in then a dot add check out check out then a dot add room type room type added here and uh, payment mode a dot add payment mode Yeah, and then return simple. So it will return A. Ah, uh, this is check in. Check here a root root type. Acha. This is room type. Okay. Control space bar. Check. Uh, we have taken this is uh, check in and check okay 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 just met uh, we have uh, not added check in and check out right so string check in is here and string check out that's why it is showing error okay so this is check out now you can see this is uh, it is showing check out so this is the session bean this is the session bean right uh, package i'll just go through uh, once again this uh, particular uh, part see at the top uh, that there is a session bean right uh, that the package is given here and see it is a session bean right so while while we are creating now uh, i'll be taking it as a session bean right so it will be a session bean uh, we will select it. Uh, we will select it as a session bean. Uh, then I uh, will also make it as a local bean. So when you are selecting, uh, it will be a session bean. Okay. Now, uh, coming to this part. Uh, see, this is a look and feel, right? Uh, when this output will be displayed now. It will be displayed like a customer, right? So the name of the customer here. 
and the output will be here. For example, you are selecting a, a deluxe room, you are selecting suit room, you are selecting general room. Okay. So this will be uh, displayed like you have selected. So here the first line will come, hello, uh, so and so customer name. And you have selected a uh, deluxe room or you have selected a uh, uh, general room like that. Third up, uh, you have to pay, right? So as per the room type, the price will be displayed on the, uh, output function, right? So here, if the room dot equals, so now the next part is here, uh, like we are writing here that, uh, uh, if the payment mode is here, right? So here, if the room dot equals, uh, show, then you have to pay 8,000. If it is deluxe, you have to pay 4,000. If it is, uh, uh, general then you have to pay and all all those values are uh, we are putting where in the array list right and we are adding it so when it will be added now when it will be displayed it will be at the output page now one solid page we have to create so i'll just write here new then uh, uh, solid page and see what is the name of the solid page check this uh what solid page we have written here reserve serve you have to write down the name of the page at reserve server. Okay, so we'll write the name of the solid. Already we have uh, added one the EJB page, right? So we'll uh, add this EJB package. We are adding the deployment descriptor page. Okay, we'll click on the finish button. Now this is a solid page. So the port which is not required, remove it. This is also not required, remove it. Remove this. Okay. Uh, we have to, uh, since it is a session being right, so we have to use the reference and also uh, which URL pattern it will be using, right? So we, here we have to use this web servlet. Web servlet, right? So when you are using it, right? Uh, you need to write down here web servlet. Remember, control space bar, you'll see here, you have to use the web servlet. Right? And see that the annotation you have to write here web servlet. What is the web servlet name? Right? In the bracket, uh, we will write here. What is the name of the web servlet? Name is here reserves or? Okay. So that uh, I'll be taking uh, reserves of here. Okay, this is the name of the solid page. And see, once it will take the data from the EGB page, where it will go, it goes to the solid page. Uh, this uh, solid page, right? So what is the solid page? The URL patterns, remember, it will be, uh, you have to take the URL pattern. Control space bar, you will see that uh, URL patterns. Okay, so control space bar. You will see here there is an option. You will see the URL patterns, right? URL patterns. Now, you have seen control space bar. How it will be displayed? Control space bar. Can you see it will be retained within this uh, RB bracket open and close, right? So it will be within this curly bracket open and close. And then we'll write this uh, URL pattern, right? So what is the URL pattern you can see here? The URL pattern is this 
reserve serve, right? So you have to take this reserve serve. So this is the line which is compulsory as a web servlet page because annotation is compulsory when it uh, redirected to the next page. Uh, next class is already created here, uh, public uh, class reserves of the next range, uh, aesthetically solid page. Now we have to uh, create the uh, bean annotation. I think if you remember in that uh, solid page, uh, when we have created for converting the page from one page to another page, we have to uh, we have to create the reservation bean, right? So uh, I'll create here. Uh, Hydrate annotation EJB, right? Control space bar. Now this space will, uh, package will be added over there. And see, we need to uh, create the object of this uh, session bin, right? Control space bar. I hope you remember uh, when you have learned the life cycle. Always you are uh, you have written the step number one and two that we need to create the object of the sound uh, this session bean right so this is reservation bean so this is reservation bean right all right i'll create a page reservation bean okay uh this is the reservation bean so i've just created the page here as a reservation bean now what next so these are the pre-requirements. Remember, these are the pre-requirements that we have to see. That web server I'll be adding here. Then uh, we'll provide the URL pattern where it will redirect it. Then uh, we will write the EGB. Then uh, we will uh, uh, provide the annotation at the rate EGB. Then the, we have to create the object of the reservation bean, right? That is a session uh, session bean. Now we need to add that the objects right uh, you know that uh, we have to take this uh, customer name customer address customer phone number then room type then uh, check-in date check-out date as well as the payment mode so that we have to declare right so we will declare it Okay. These are the values we are, which we are going to use. Plus, we will be taking input. We will be taking input, right? So now, this is the process. You know that the request got the request or get parameter we are using for all the parameters, right? Uh, for this uh, customer name, customer address, customer phone number, customer room type, customer check check in date, check out date, payment payment mode. We are using this uh, uh, methodology, right? So simply, I'll just take it. Okay. So this is a simple way uh, for uh, retrieving data from this uh, uh, GUI page. So first one is this customer name. Second is your uh, customer address. The third one is the customer phone number. Fourth one is your uh, customer uh, room type. Then the check-in date. Then the check-out date as well as the payment mode, right? So uh, these are the uh, inputs that we have to uh, retrieve from the servlet, uh, this GUI page. The next part we need to add is, right? You know that uh, we have to uh, select it because we are taking all those values from the session being right? And that we have stored where? In the, in the form of what? In the form of uh, array list. So now we will take it. Uh, array, array list that the value are stored over there and all those values we will be we will be checking here right because uh, we have created the object here can you see here that i have created the object as bean here right and now i will check here that bean okay so here we are adding this method we are checking this method and if it is uh it is if it is matches right so that object dot reserve so that that value will be displayed work on the display page Okay, so we will uh, we will take this value here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We'll take this. So now uh, this is what this is the customer address, right? You can see that uh, we can add this uh, array list here in the program. So this is the package here, right? Uh, in the beginning, as I said, this is the important part that the web servlet we have to create here. Then the EJP here, right? So this is the annotation at the rate EJP. Creating the object of this uh, reservation being right, and now here uh, we will declare that uh, parameters, and then we'll retrieve the parameter from the GUI page. Afterwards, we are uh, selecting all those right. So after they're taking the inputs from the, the GUI page, uh, we have to take the uh, reference from this array list right, which we have stored uh, uh, declared in the. Uh, uh, session being page okay so that value is stored over there and uh, here you know that uh, we dot reserve that so and so uh, the values according to the selected values we'll put that uh, try uh, uh, try catch part okay and it will check the value being dot reserve set c name c add then phone number then check in date check out date room type then payment mode and it will print okay that welcome so and so then room type you have selected then again payment mode you have selected right and also it will display the payment uh, the customer detail customer detail like uh, it will be in the form of tabular like jsa we suppose uh, we are uh, uh, declaring generating the receipt we are generating the receipt right so it will be like this like uh, in the tabular format uh, first the customer name will be there address will be there then the phone number will be there when the customer have checked in when the customer have checked out and also what is the room type and what is the payment mode right so all those information will be displayed in the uh, tabular format okay and one more uh, uh, one more thing uh, you know that the list one dot get right so that means if all those values are matching it will be displayed okay and uh, one more link will be generated here like uh, at the at the bottom uh, that go back okay so you can go back and again you can uh, do the re reservation so this is the entire uh, uh, entire uh, information entire code i'll just uh, go to the first page right so that we have taken this uh, okay so what i'll uh, i'll do i'll just check it the information about this uh, page when i run this program you will see that uh, the output is here I'll run it again. Okay. So uh, we have to provide the information. Uh, for example, I'll write a customer name as Sandeep. Okay. Address, for example, I'll write here uh, away. Phone number, I'll write here uh, something. Okay. Uh, room type, for example, you are selecting that deluxe, you are selecting that suit, whatever, depending on. Uh, checking date, for example, two days date is uh, 24, right? So I'll write here uh, 2409, 2021, right? And uh, I'll write 2509, 2021, okay? For example, I'll be uh, using credit card, so I'll uh, select the credit card. And, uh, okay, so these are the informations uh, I'll be talking about. And when you click on the button submit, can you see here as uh, I have told you the information uh, which uh, we have added in that uh, session bean page. Hello Sandeep, welcome to our hotel. Right, that you know that at the beginning uh, when you are adding this uh, information, right? So information was added here. Hello, right? Hello, customer name and welcome to our hotel. You can see the output. You have selected suit room, right? You will see this. Uh, you have selected that the room type. You are selecting here room uh, that suit room. 
then uh, you have to pay right so can you see that you have to pay so and so okay so here that uh, uh, you have selected this and uh, you have to pay according to the room type you have to pay this and other information uh, what which you want to display on the screen right we are we are storing all those information in the array list and that we are retrieving that array list in the servlet page right so you'll see that the information was uh, displayed on the tabular for tabular format now you'll see that uh, as i said that uh, it will be a tabular format right so that the entire data is uh, stored in the table format uh, this will be stored here welcome that room type then payment type that that is also displayed over there okay then uh, list one now whatever data is displayed here that is in the form of this right uh, name address and all everything but we are using here table format we are using this table format name you can see here address you can see here phone number you can see here check-in date you can see here that checkout date you can see here that room type you can see here and payment mode you can see here okay if you want to go back you can go back and again again you can fill the informations uh for example uh i'll write here uh, suji then address I'll put the uh, address, then I can have some information about the phone number, room type, if you are using this deluxe. Check-in date, for example, uh, you are using this. And check-out date, you are using. And you are uh, selecting this class. You can see this uh, information is added here. So this was the example for the room reservation system. This is the example for the room reservation system, which we have uh, 